Hello, welcome to Kenya USA Times TV. Today I want to show you how to use Microsoft Paint and Canvas to correct this anomaly. This is a common error uh, encountered by many applicants whereby, for example, you've gone to a photo studio, even after editing, when you test a photo, it still says image is overly compressed. Please use compression ratio that is less than 20 to 1. Your photo has been rejected. This is a common error. And many applicants or those I have interacted with uh, have told me that they have faced this challenge. Let me show you. Mm -hmm. We are testing this photo. Click. Yeah, you see the, the message. The first step will be to go to paint. This is paint. Click paint. Then while you are on paint, uh, click file. Click open. Click this image. Click open. Yes. What we want to do, the real reason why this photo was overly compressed was because of this, you see, this distance. It's so small. So we want to extend the background. So we are doing this, yes. Doing this, yes. Even after that far. Then after this now, we go here, we save the photo as JPG, and then maybe to avoid confusion, we can name it like that. Click Save. Then we go now to uh, Canvas. Canvas is a free tool. That can be used by anybody who has a laptop or a desktop computer. You can easily install it uh, through Microsoft Store. So it's a free tool. Remember, this method uh, will not work if you are trying to use it with your phone. No, it's only with a computer. So we are in uh, Canvas. And before we proceed, Yes, this is the canvas. We click custom size. Then we choose this two in square. Yes. After that, we click upload. Then we upload our image. Should be this one. Click open. It's loading. You drag this image to this place. Yes. Yes, our photo now is good to go. Remember, this photo or this template is two inch square. It has only been uh, zoomed to, to this percentage, 304. So don't worry about that. It's just for you to, to see what I am doing. Okay, the next step will be to, you click this share and then click download and then Click this, click JBG, and then remember, you need to change this image to 100%. Click download. And with this, we can name it PK. 
Yes, let's name it like that. Click Save. So the next step will be to go back now to this tool. We want to test it and yes, using photo tool, click choose. Mm, this one we say, yeah, should be this one. Yes, as you can see, your photo does not need cropping. It's now okay. It's now okay. I've been able to edit the photo to the right dimension. It's not now, it's not overly compressed, so it's good to go. As you can see, it's an easy step. You can do it on your own. The first step being you open your photo in Microsoft Paint, this one, Paint. Then you try to enlarge the frame of the photo. After that, you save the photo in JPEG format. Then you proceed to Canvas. While in Canvas, choose two in square format, and then you upload your photo. And then you crop the photo accordingly and it will be good i want to test this same photo using photo checker click this one let's use this fingers crossed yes the photo is good to go yes it meets all the requirements let us also test this same photo using this a uh, green guard photo check click and then click this click next yes in the picture on the left are the eyes of the person on the photo located within the red dotted area yes these are my eyes the next step drag the top green bar on the left and move it okay we do this yep and answer this question is the bottom of the gene now located within the green dotted area yes so the photo is now good to go so once again you can easily do this on your own that is if you have a personal computer or a laptop thank you so much god bless you as you uh, prepare to apply for dv2025 and for those who've applied, I wish you all the best. I know, photo is the main issue. If you get it right with the photo, you are good to go. Thank you so much.